The air hangs heavy and humid, a palpable presence that clings to the skin and fills the lungs with each breath. The atmosphere is thick, almost tangible, as if the very air itself is alive. The last rays of sun filter through the dense canopy, casting long golden beams that dance upon the forest floor. These fleeting moments of light create a mosaic of shadows and highlights, painting the jungle in hues of amber and green. This is an African jungle, hundreds of thousands of years ago, a place where time seems to stand still, where the ancient and the eternal coexist in a delicate balance. The trees here have witnessed the rise and fall of countless generations. The air is alive with the buzz of insects and the calls of unseen creatures. Each sound tells a story, a symphony of life that has played out for millennia. The jungle is a cacophony of life, each creature adding its own note to the orchestra. Giant ferns drip with moisture, their leaves glistening in the fading light. These ancient plants are the silent witnesses to the passage of time, their roots delving deep into the rich, dark soil. The scent of decaying vegetation fills the air, a reminder of the cycle of life and death that governs this world. The forest floor is a tapestry of fallen leaves and decomposing matter, each layer telling a story of seasons past. This is a world of shadows and whispers, where the unseen is as important as the seen. The jungle holds its secrets close, revealing them only to those who know where to look. A world on the cusp of change, where every moment is a transition from one state to another. The jungle is never static. It is a living, breathing entity, constantly evolving and adapting. The ground is soft underfoot, a cushion of moss and leaves that muffles the sound of footsteps. Walking through this ancient forest is like stepping back in time. Each step a journey into the past. Here, amongst the tangled vines and towering trees, roamed creatures unlike any alive today. These were the early hominins, our distant ancestors who navigated this primeval world with a blend of instinct and ingenuity. These were the early hominins, our distant ancestors. They walked these paths long before the dawn of civilization, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the jungle. They lived and breathed in this primeval world their existence a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. Every day was a struggle for survival, yet they thrived in this challenging environment. They faced challenges we can only imagine, from predators lurking in the shadows to the ever-present threat of starvation. Yet through it all, they persevered, their legacy etched into the very fabric of the jungle, and they left behind clues that help us to understand our own origins. These ancient artifacts, buried beneath layers of earth and time, are the keys to unlocking the mysteries of our past. They tell the story of a people who were not so different from us, who dreamed, loved and struggled just as we do today. In 1921, a skull was unearthed in what is now Zambia. It was unlike any human fossil ever seen before. The skull, known as the Kabwe skull, had a remarkable feature enormous eye sockets. These sockets dwarfed those of modern humans. They hinted at a creature adapted to a world of shadows and lurking predators. It was a glimpse into a past beyond imagining. The Kabwe skull, also called Broken Hill One or Rhodesian Man, is a powerful reminder of the long and complex story of human evolution. It is a piece of a puzzle, helping us to understand how we became the species we are today. The discovery of the Kabwe skull was a monumental moment in the field of paleoanthropology. Archaeologists meticulously excavated the site using tools that have since become iconic in the study of ancient human remains. The skull's unique features sparked intense debate and fascination among scientists of the time. Its large eye sockets suggested adaptations that were previously unknown, leading to numerous theories about its place in the human lineage. Today, with advanced technology, researchers continue to study the Kabwe skull, uncovering new insights into our ancient past. High-resolution imaging and 3D modeling have allowed scientists to explore its structure in unprecedented detail. These studies have painted a vivid picture of the world in which the Kabwe individual lived, it was a time when early humans faced numerous challenges, from predatory animals to harsh environmental conditions. The Kabwe skull occupies a crucial position in the evolutionary tree, bridging gaps between different hominin species. Its discovery has helped to fill in missing pieces of the puzzle, providing a clearer understanding of our evolutionary journey. Museums around the world now feature the Kabwe skull in their exhibits. 
educating the public about its significance. These displays not only highlight the skull's unique features, but also its role in the broader narrative of human evolution. Through these exhibits, people of all ages can engage with the story of the Kabwe skull, gaining a deeper appreciation for the complexities of our ancient past. It serves as a powerful reminder of the incredible journey that has shaped humanity. The Kabwe skull remains a haunting discovery, a testament to the enduring mystery and wonder of human evolution. As we continue to study and learn from it, we are reminded of the vast, uncharted history that lies beneath our feet. The eye sockets of the Kabwe skull are truly remarkable. These ancient orbits with their deep cavernous appearance draw us into a world that existed hundreds of thousands of years ago. They are significantly larger than those of modern humans. This size difference is not just a trivial fact, it hints at the unique evolutionary path taken by this ancient hominin. They are even larger than those of Neanderthals, our closest extinct relatives. This suggests that the Kabwe hominin had visual needs or adaptations that were distinct from both modern humans and Neanderthals. This difference in size is not just a matter of curiosity. It provides crucial insights into the daily lives and survival strategies of these ancient beings. It speaks volumes about the environment in which this hominin lived. The vast open landscapes of ancient Africa required keen eyesight to spot predators and prey from a distance. It tells a story of adaptation and survival. The large eye sockets suggest that the Kabwe hominin may have been active during dawn or dusk, times when light is low and sharp vision is crucial. The eyes are often called the windows to the soul. They reveal emotions, intentions and even health conditions. In the case of the Kabwe skull, they are also windows to the past. These eye sockets offer a direct connection to an ancient world providing clues about how these early humans interacted with their environment. They offer us a glimpse into a world long gone. Through these windows, we can imagine the challenges faced by the Kabwe hominin, from finding food to avoiding predators. They help us to understand the challenges and pressures that shaped our early ancestors. By studying these ancient eye sockets, we gain a deeper appreciation for the resilience and adaptability of early humans and how their experiences have shaped our own evolutionary journey. The Africa of the Kabwe hominin was vastly different from the continent we know today. Giant creatures roamed the land. The climate was in flux. Forests gave way to open savannas. Survival depended on keen senses and quick reflexes. The ability to see in low light conditions was paramount. Imagine a world where danger lurked around every corner. A world where a rustle in the undergrowth could mean the difference between life and death. In this environment, sharp vision was not a luxury, it was a necessity. Section 5. Seeing in the shadows. The large eye sockets of the Kabwe skull suggest that this hominin possessed exceptional low-light vision. This would have been crucial for survival in the twilight world of the African jungle. It would have allowed them to hunt for food and evade predators in the dim light of dawn and dusk. The ability to see in low light is not just about the size of the eyes. It is also about the structure of the eye itself. The Kabwe hominin may have had adaptations to the retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye, that further enhance their night vision. Section 6. The Silent Language of the Eyes The eyes are not just for seeing, they are also for communicating. The large eyes of the Kabwe hominin may have played a role in social signaling. They could have conveyed emotions, warnings, or intentions. In a world without language, such nonverbal communication would have been essential. The eyes are incredibly expressive. A simple glance can convey a wealth of information. Fear, anger, joy, and sadness can all be communicated through the eyes. The Kabwe hominin may have relied on this silent language to navigate their complex social world. Section 7. A Legacy Etched in Bone The Kabwe skull is more than just a fossil. It is a testament to the power of natural selection. It shows how our ancestors adapted to their environment over countless generations. The large eye sockets are a physical manifestation of this evolutionary process. Every feature of the human body, from the shape of our bones to the size of our brains, is the result of millions of years of evolution. The Kabwe skull is a reminder of this incredible journey. It shows us just how far we have come. 
Section 8, Echoes of the Past. The Cabway hominin is long gone, but their story lives on in the fossil record. Their bones whisper tales of a lost world, a world of shadows and giants, a world where survival depended on keen senses and sharp instincts. We may never know everything about the Cabway hominin, but every new discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the grand tapestry of life. The Cabway skull is a powerful reminder that our past is a vast and mysterious landscape, waiting to be explored. The Section 9, Unlocking the Secrets. Scientists continue to study the Cabway skull. They use sophisticated imaging techniques to unlock its secrets. They compare it to other hominin fossils from around the world. They are piecing together the puzzle of our origins, one fragment at a time. The study of human evolution is an ongoing process. New discoveries are being made all the time. With each new find, our understanding of the past becomes clearer. The Cabway skull is a vital piece of this puzzle. Section 10, The Enduring Mystery. The Cabway skull is a haunting reminder of the mysteries that still surround our origins. It is a window into a lost world, a world of wonder and danger, a world that continues to fascinate and inspire us. As we look up at the stars, we can't help but wonder about our place in the universe. The Cabway skull reminds us that our journey to the present has been long and arduous. It is a journey that continues to this day. 